We've got eight hours of recording, guys. It's gonna be a little bit muddy here, so. Oh, I think it was that shadow. That's cool. Oh, you like staying warm. Cracking it. I'm sitting next to you guys. Have any? Here, I'm gonna hook up. I'll get on the GoPro. So the setup I was using was a seven foot medium light old 18 rod with a Pisifin Carbon X 3000 series Norton screw lock jig heads, one eighth ounce, and I was using AM fishing lures. The chicken shark color it's a, like a bright neon orange i like throwing that color in the early morning and in the afternoon hours a couple of weeks back we lost a sustain on a g loomis off the boat then it popped off it fell off or what i lost my gopro hero 8 oh yeah you told me where this on the right yeah dude oh, yeah. so i've sacrificed already i was taking it out of my bag and i'm so used to being on my buddy's boat that has the uh walls. the walls so it fell, I didn't think anything of it. I was like, oh. so I go real slow and then, but it was just a sign to get the Hero 9. Yeah, right? <laughs> so that's what it was. So one thing I learned guys from fishing with a bunch of my buddies, also I learned a lot with Captain Marco Slime Time Charters. I'm gonna leave his info down below. Just keep switching colors, man. Eventually you're gonna find out what they want. Yeah, that's why I switched colors. I was like, maybe they want. It was a baby for like baby trout. Uh huh. I'm like the part right at the front. I want to head to. Yeah, you want to walk to it? Yeah, I just. A little baby, baby red. Yeah. yeah. Nursery. Yeah, man. Nursery limit. I think it's a nice shot. Why oh, just hooked it weird? Oh, that's a nice shot. Shout ski this 18 probably. Spot number two. Yep. So we drove around till we saw the redfish and then we got off and this is one of my favorite style of fishing man. You get off and you pretty much stalk the redfish. As you can tell here I'm walking real slow trying to trying to not make any noise. And every now and then I would take a blind cast, but for the majority of the time I would wait until I would see a redfish show itself and I would cast in that direction. There's like two right there, bro. See him? I think I got the smallest one. Oh. 
Here's a perfect example of why I like to use the 10 pound Pro Pro or any type of a braid as long as you use a lighter test line just because you get that extra casting distance. There's not much wind here but you can still cast it pretty far. Nah, it's a baby. Oh, it might be a keeper. Oh yeah, it's a keeper. Alright, so what I'm doing here, I'm just gonna give you guys a quick tip. I uh I'm standing in one spot waiting till I see a redfish tail or the back or a wake and then I'll cast at it. But every now and then I'll do a blind cast just to see if I get lucky. But I'm trying to stay as still as possible. Try not to make any noise. And you're, seeing, you're seeing these reds show themselves for like a quick second and then they disappear. So I'll just cast where I last saw them, cast to the left, cast to the right. And I've gotten lucky twice. I'm not directly casting at them. I'll see them for a quick second, then they'll duck, and then I'll cast to the left, right at them, and to the right. I know I'm casting into the wind right here, but there's some redfish behind me. That's why I'm doing that. Normally, you use the wind and you take advantage of that extra casting distance, but with that last red, I literally caught it behind me because I saw it. There's another wake over there. There's more wakes over here in front of me, so I'm gonna keep walking real slow blind cast every now and then but every now and then they make a mistake and they'll come up then I'll cast at them so keep scanning just keep looking around and keep casting some redfish will throw right at them and they're not hungry or they'll just get spooked it's a, it's a numbers game man just keep getting your lure in front of a bunch of redfish eventually one or two are gonna eat hopefully one more will eat that'll be a limit Red? What color is that, brother? Midnight one? Switch to that. So as you can tell right here, I am switching to the color that is hitting. Marco on my left hand side, one of the other guys on the other side, and a guy to my right were using Midnight Mullet, and they were hitting those redfish, so I switched over. Don't be ashamed to switch, man. If, if the one color is hitting, go ahead and, and make the change. First cast with a man, but that's a nice one. Ain't small. Is it 18? Yeah. That's it. I see a bunch of mud boils, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know yeah. I'm like, damn, I just cast it right over there. And...
Yeah. So he had so much energy. Hey, I'm lures, boys. Right in his mouth. Awesome. I'm pretty tell, man. You saw the tail or what? Yeah. 